Hi everybody and welcome to my very first process video. As you'll notice I am currently washing over my 013 Tomoe River insert um, for my traveller's notebook and the ink that I'm able to do that with is fountain pen ink. It's by a company called uh, Noodlers and the, the specific colour is Lexington Grey. It's uh, my favourite actually at the moment. The colour I'm using there is I think Teal by Daniel Smith and then I'm going in with a deeper teal um, from Prima Watercolours. They are a great brand that I'd highly recommend you start with if you aren't looking to invest too much too early in watercolour. Here I'm using my brush to just, just edge round the um, outside lines for a little bit of extra granulation with um, the deeper purple there. That purple is Amethyst, it's by Daniel Smith and it's a beautiful colour. I can't show you here but I will show you in another video how it shines. Now I am busy playing with acetate acetate is something that I tip in with on a regular basis just for a little bit of extra visual interest or if I'm using a, a photo that I'd like to make a focal point of I will use acetate to frame it and in actual fact the photo that I'm about to take is quite apt because the snoring that you can hear in the background is my Shih Tzu Frankenstein and uh, she has a breathing problem which means that she snores really loud louder than my husband and that's that's saying something so i'm rounding off the edges now i don't know why i've just been really enjoying rounded edges on things i think it makes it look finished a bit neater um and hinging it in with washi tape Here I'm going through um, my monthly printouts. I get 45 free prints per month with Free Prints, the company, and that's Frankenstein. Yeah, that's Frankie. Um, and I generally use them all. I absolutely love Free Prints. I always get the matte though, the matte version as it is easier to write on either with a Posca pen or with my gel pens and I do like to write little notes on various um, various photos because when you come to look in years ahead at the volumes of your life these photos won't have any context um, as generally they aren't in the journaling that I'm doing at the time so I always write a little little note on the back
after doing my photos, I will. All right, Frank. I will generally. Sorry, I'm going to keep this in. I will generally go over the darker parts of my journal with, um, or my painting rather, with just a little contrasting Posca pen and a bit of gold, anything that picks up just a bit of visual interest. I add washi tape, I add scraps of brown paper with quotes on, I add washi stickers, anything to um, brighten it up. were one day to make a concise kit for what it takes to do my style of journaling what would definitely be in there is a heating tool as you see me using now because I am far too impatient to wait for it to dry naturally the only ones that dry naturally are generally ones that I've done late at night early hours of the morning and you get a totally different effect with a force dried um, watercolour in comparison with a naturally dried one. I'm so sorry about my dog but <clears throat> she's determined to make her presence felt in this audio recording. Here I'm going for a wet on wet wash. Um, it is a nicer way, it's a gentler way to put to put paint on paper works far better with watercolour. I'm using Green Gold here by Daniel Smith again. Um, the lighter green that I use is by Prima Watercolour and then the other deep green I use is Daniel Smith. Um, when I go through my palette, if, if you guys want to see that, please let me know down below. Um, I can show you every watercolour and where it comes from. Honestly, I cannot believe the timing of that dog. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see a video on because honestly I don't know, I don't know um, what to do next. Would you like to see a flip through of one of my journals, uh, my collection, my traveller's notebooks, um, my paints, my brushes, whatever you need to see just please let me know. And again, I apologise for Frankie in the background, but she's kind of always with me. So, um, I, their dad is busy at the moment, otherwise he would take her. Here I go with... Oh, that is neutral tint. And that is a very interesting colour. It just changes whatever colour you add it to, to a slightly deeper version. It's really, really fun to play with. I highly recommend if you do, and if you are a Daniel Smith collector, to invest in that.
Thank you all so much for making it through to the end of my very first video in this style. I hope to be bringing more to you um, as soon as possible. I've recorded tons of footage, so um, hopefully in the coming weeks and months you will let me know what you'd like to see. Um, thanks again. I'm signing off now. Bye.